Well, behind me is the Cogan Creek coal-fired power station outside Chinchilla. And what you can't see behind this power station is acres and acres of solar panelling. The Queensland State Government, in conjunction with the Federal Government, put in what they'll admit to you, about $105 million worth of solar panelling. Guess what? Those solar panellings never produced one milliamp of power, none whatsoever. And what they're doing now is dismantling it, throwing all those solar panels onto the scrap heap. Why are we headed down the path of pushing for solar power and wind power? It doesn't give us the dispatchable power and energy that we need to run the country, our industries and our manufacturing. Why are we tied up with Paris agreements? These are things that are destroying our industries and manufacturing. Pensioners can't afford to put on their power. Homes can't. Escalating power costs. And that's $105 million that they'll admit to. It's like they've just torn up the money, thrown in the toilet. This is money we have to borrow. And we're, we're subsidising to the tune of billions of dollars a year for all these schemes. You know, this unit behind me, the coal fired power station, was designed for two units. It only has one at the moment. Why don't we put the money into that to build the second unit? Give us the power that we need to run the state and hopefully even sell the power down south because no one seems to get it right. Yes, we do need, you know, a diversity of different power sources, but let's get it right. And I don't believe that thinking we're gonna run this country just on solar, solar or wind at the moment is going to happen. It can't.